So are you long-term holder? I am. Until someone walks in and offers you a crazy price. I'm not there yet, so okay. I'm not thinking about it. Are you a long-term holder? We are long-term holds. Unless someone comes in and offers you? No, because I just finished Alex, actually, your son. We, yeah. I have a house on, I mean, sorry, Eric just saw on my flip on Saragossa. Yes. Okay. Yes. He so, told me about it. <laughs> so this residential flip that, that we just finished and we just put on the market for rent and Eric said, I saw your sign. I thought I didn't know that was you. I had a call to, to sell and I'm not selling. Why? Number one, how are my kids going to afford to buy a house in Miami 20 years from now? Uh, I'm at a four and a quarter interest rate. I have a million and a half in equity and I'm assessed at very close to what I bought it for. So if I sell and I go buy something else, even if I 1031, I'm buying an asset that's now double the price, double the tax assessment. I'll never make the margins. Like you're, now all of a sudden everything's reset. So I will hold and I will rent and I will recoup my costs and maybe in 10 years when I've made back my investment, I'll consider selling, but I'm gonna make the same when I sell today that I would 10 years. Why am I not gonna recoup my rehab costs?